Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Ask Boxing Science. This is sponsored by Saga Fitness. If you wanted to find out more about their BFR cuffs, please visit the link in the description and also use the Boxing Science discount code to save yourself 10% off their upper limb and lower limb cuffs. Today, we're answering a question around steady state running for boxing. Should boxers be out on the road doing the long steady state runs? We've answered this quite a few times across YouTube, Instagram, and across our programs. We believe that boxers should be performing high intensity interval training, sprint interval training, and muscle buffering training as well. These meet the demands of the sport. However, we do put in longer uh, runs in place for active recovery, so active recovery runs. And the reason why we put in active recovery runs is to improve aerobic fitness, to build up training load, and also to burn the calories when we're looking to make weight. However, with active recovery runs, um, these can be tedious and boring uh, if you're going for steady 30 or 40 minutes, but also, um, it doesn't reinforce really good running technique when you're running at a low intensity, you're just plodding. Um, and this like kind of running gait doesn't add as many physical benefits as the tempo runs as we're just about to introduce here. But also uh, it can create a bit of soreness, lower body, um, maybe if you're not opening up your hips, can create tightness in your hips and the lower extremities around the calves as well. So we're not wanting our boxers to be to be plodding on these uh, long runs. Also, we look to try and do the active recovery runs either uh, on the curve or on the on the treadmill rather than out on the road. We're not looking for our boxers to have like kind of high impact forces when they're out on the road. So boxing science, we tend to go towards uh, tempo runs. Tempo runs are where we're um, doing a set pace. Uh, anywhere between 60 and 80% of their maximum running speed, but we have an extended amount of rest to make sure that we're staying within the 60 to 70% maximum heart rate or what we'd call the green zone if we're looking at the polar heart rate monitor. Uh, and th staying within this zone, even though we're going to higher speed, will help develop aerobic fitness, just like that to recovery runs. The difference with this is that we're looking to increase high speed running volume. This is going to be better because they've got a better running gait during the tempo runs in comparison to just a steady state run. Um, they're opening up the hips, they've got the knees in a higher position, they're also in a more upright posture rather than just kind of going out and doing a plod. So a better running gait will um, d like not have the associated soreness that you would do if you're just going out for a steady state run. Also what this does is help build up uh, training loads, so high speed running loads and intensity and this can help prepare an athlete going into uh, more intense running, let's like say if they're doing sprint interval training or doing the repeated sprints and the muscle buffering capacity. Uh, the tempo runs are a great way to, to ease an athlete into it, build up their high speed running volume to then attack these training phases. Um, due to extended periods of recovery, uh, we're going to go through the rest, uh, work to rest ratios uh, in the next section of this video. Um, they have low heart rates, so we're working uh, between 60 and 70% of uh, maximum heart rate, so that, this is developing aerobic fitness, but also uh, we're keeping them the lactate, the blood lactate levels low, so we're saying uh, below the uh, second lactate uh, turn point, lactate threshold. So we're not creating any kind of onset fatigue from the from these runs. These uh, sessions are also uh, more challenging, the less tedious for the boxers, but also it all helps reinforce running technique on the curve, uh, especially when we're looking to do sprint interval training and muscle buffering capacity work we're looking at the physical adaptation. So wanting them to work at a speed that creates physical adaptation. This can be fatiguing and sometimes the technique uh, isn't as optimal. Whereas like when we're doing the tempo runs because they're doing it at a low, lower intensity and, and with less fatigue, they're able to reinforce a really good running technique as well. So it's a great opportunity to be teaching the athletes a good running technique. So yeah, so there are all the benefits. Now we're gonna go into some of the protocols that we use at Boxing Science. So in this video, we're gonna be taking Lerone Richards through a tempo run for boxing. 
This can be used as an active recovery session. Uh, so we normally do this once or twice a week or built into general preparation phase where we're building up sprinting volume before going on to sprint interval training or muscle buffering training. So uh, Lerone is currently going through general preparation phase. So he's doing this as his main conditioning at the moment. Uh, we're doing 15 seconds on, 45 seconds off. We're doing between six and eight repetitions. Today we're gonna go for six. After these six repetitions, we're gonna go for two minutes total recovery. And then we're gonna repeat this three to four times. Today we're gonna go for four sets because we've uh, We've exposed Laverne to this. This is his second session. So we're just upping the volume ever so slightly. We're gonna be aiming between 60 and 80% of Laverne's maximum running speed. His maximum running speed is about 33 kilometers an hour on the curve. Uh, so we're gonna go between 19 and 22 kilometers an hour. Uh, we'll just tweet this either way, um, just depending on how Laverne's heart rate is going. So if he's going up, beyond 60 to 70% maximum heart rate, uh, going up into that orange zone, we, we will take down the speed or we might increase the rest. But today we're gonna start off around about 19, 20 kilometers an hour, and then just seeing how he, do, how, how he deals with that and maybe up the intensity after a few, uh, a few sets. Okay guys, if you've got any questions about the tempo runs or any of our other conditioning sessions, please leave them in the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed the video.